hello welcome to my channel my name is Brenda Cesar Conte welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button like share and leave your comments i'm always happy when you leave your comments and i do my best to respond to your comments and people are improving i'm having a lot of more comments nowadays than before thank you very much for those of you who are watching me for those of you who are subscribing to my channel and for those of you who are engaging i promise i'll be coming with something almost every day i do promise you that thank you very much i really do appreciate you from the bottom of my heart okay now let's go i want to talk a bit i'm sorry i'm gonna say this in english it's more for my country the reason why i'm saying a lot of people don't understand english in Sierra Leone nowadays and also because i want to feed in another platform so please bear with me please thank you very much and also i must say i'm not an expert i'm not a scientist i'm not a doctor i'm just telling you my own experience experience of people around um, especially in England, the so-called first wall and things like that. And I'm just giving my suggestion as a patriotic citizen of Sierra Leone. That is all. So please, critics, mm -hmm. mm. this is for you. Please, I beg, go make your own video. I beg. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, this coronavirus, um, apparently I had it twice. I had the worst one was in December. And that was when I, I'm telling you, coronavirus, I want to tell you, Sierra Leoneans, people who are listening to me, it is real. And honestly, it is something that I cannot describe. You know, in Africa, we have malaria, which is a very bad, okay? But when I had COVID-19, it was something else it was another experience okay on its own luckily i for me i would say that i might not have survived had it not been that i was in this country because when they came for me you understand they came for me um they came with the oxygen they came with ecg machine and so many other machines they did the test there um my oxygen level they did um so many tests right there on my bed okay so i thank god for that they were very good the paramedics they were very good so i thank god for that so that let me just start by saying it is real what i don't like like i normally say this is it this is just a fact because i'm not talking about politics here for me the welfare of my people all of them whether you are from apc SAPC, or in minde timini limba Creo, it means more to me especially when it comes to health, when it comes to things that like would lead to death. I am not definitely going to talk about politics, okay? Um, and shame to those, especially in the diaspora, that you are using this to do your politics, your dirty politics. It is a shame. People, you must have a conscience. We knew or we know now things are better touch wood okay because i think they have learned about the disease more the vaccine is out and so many other reasons okay but when it i remember last year january may oh my god i was wearing gloves i would wash my hands until my hands started hurting me you understand it was that bad because every day you, people were dying in their thousands okay so we know in the diaspora nobody will tell me that you're in the diaspora and you don't know how it hits us so then my question to you this is not a papa government why are you so wicked to me to your country why are you so wicked to the people of Sierra Leone? because you live abroad and because of politics you are telling people things like don't take the vaccine things like and you are criticizing because the churches have been closed and have been shut down and must have been shut down you are using it for your campaign or your dirty politics shame on you and you're talking about the market when you were in okay i'm giving you salonians listen to me and people all over in, from africa when we had our lockdowns the more um the, the marketplaces because most of us the marketplace and um, places is uh supermarkets okay stores every food place was open because they were that um some essential if you don't open the food place we will die you understand that was the only reason but you cannot die if you do not go to church or mosque you can do it at home there's virtual in fact to be honest with you I prefer sometimes because if you are a true Christian or a Muslim, that is the time you should have a very close relationship with your 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 God. 
You understand? Because what has this church is doing for us anyway in Africa? What are they doing for us? You people are crying that things are bad and things are that bad. What are, I've never seen in Sierra Leone. The churches come together to go and speak to the president on your behalf. So what is the only reason why you are crying and the churches are crying, especially the Christian churches, the pastor, is because they're not having their, their collection. They're not exploiting you. You people, you are very ungrateful. You should be thankful, some of you. Because I don't know the, the, the significance of the church opening in Sierra Leone. For me, it is better so that you will go and read. If you are a true Christian or a Muslim, read your Bible and the Holy Quran. You understand? And have a personal relationship. Because all I'm seeing is exploitation. They're exploiting you in some of these churches. And most of them. I said so. Yes, I said so. Do you understand? And then you, people from Canada, you from Australia, you knew. You know. We say, Why aren't you honest to yourself? Huh? When they, they, they did not shut down the, 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 the supermarket, why didn't you cry? Went out to protest and tell them that they should shut everything down. Do you think the president of Sierra Leone is, is um, um, <laughs> stupid or the people who are ruling Sierra Leone? And you are sending these messages to the people. But I know Sierra Leone, yes, most of them are laughing at you now. Because you people have become something else. You who should set good example. You who should set bright example. You who should be telling people, this is heaven. Can't you just forget about politics for one second? That just shows who you are. You people are transparent. It just shows that this politics that you're shouting, you are not sincere. You do not love the people. You love yourself. You do not love the people. That is what it is showing. How dear are some of you? How dear are some of you? This is wrong. All you need to say, advise the government to put um, more stringent um, 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 rules in place especially in the marketplace that everybody should wear um gloves teach them how to be washing their hands sanitizer government should help by providing free masks sanitizer things like that that's how you should advise your government if you are serious about the people of Sierra, that is like god <laughs> god knows you know you people we want to win election <laughs> god can see your heart this god there is coming to, one fine day, Sierra Leone will be free. One fine day, and we are getting there by the grace of God Almighty. Enough of this oh, rubbish. We are tired and fed up. Especially you. you are, some of you say you are learned. And that's why they are calling you people educated fools. It is the wickedness, the wickedness of mankind for you to be taught. You, you people, can you hear? Do you listen to yourself? You live in a country where they close the, 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 the religious uh, um, places and left the, 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 um, the, the, the essential places like food places open. And now you are advised. Ah, God have mercy upon you, Sarah Leonels. Christ have mercy upon you. You people, you are wicked to your country. You are wicked to the people of Sierra Leone. And you think that when the COVID is coming, the COVID is going to choose. This is SIPP, APC. And you know the COVID does not choose. The COVID is not a respecter of people. That means you don't even care for your own people, your own family. That's the selfishness of Africans. Black people, we are selfish. We cannot come together for nothing in this world. We cannot come together. Even the other day, I was talking to a friend of mine. We are talking, even death, when somebody dies in a family, before they bury that person, you will see fra fra fractions, fractions here and there. This person will go with that, uh, uh, say, oh, you can come and sympathize. I'm the auntie. I'm the mother. The wife would have their own. The wife, the girlfriends and all. It's rubbish. You cannot come together even think something like this. It is a shame. And I just want to thank all those who are sending good messages out there. I just want to thank, I don't care what party you are from. Those who are sending um, free mask, sanitizer. May God Almighty bless you. And as for you, God is watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And has a long patience. You wait. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please, let us stop this rubbish. This is health. This thing can lead to death. Let us stop this rubbish. Let us be honest to ourselves and to the people of Sierra Leone and the people of Africa. Let us preach the right thing so that we look at now Sierra Leone is red listed. As for Sierra Leone being red listed, I don't get it. 
I said so. I can meet the ministers here. Why should say I don't be get listed? Maybe they will say, oh, it's because uh, and people are not taking the vaccine, but all. <laughs> but this goes for you, African leaders. This is about time that you should, this is the time God is giving you to come together in Africa and know that these people from colonial days, we don't need to be begging them. We have everything. We have it. When you go and beg people, that's why I like to be independent. If you are a parasite, you live on people, they dictate your lives. They dictate it. Because look at places like Spain, places like Italy. These people, they are important. Even though we have come out of the European Union, but they still, we are in Europe still, and they will look after their own more than Africa. Now they want um, um, tourism to start booming. So places like Dubai and everything, they don't care. They don't care about Africa. They want to push us to these places. You people don't understand what is going on with the world. Me, I know these people. And that is why I love my country. Even though things look gloomy and things like that, I have it. And we pray for our country. Because this country that we are, it is not us. It is not us. They don't like us. Oh, why should they not be at least then? Hmm? Countries that are having more death are not red listed. But you look at the bar, uh, geography, the demography, and you will answer the question if you think deep. Wake up, Africa. Wake up, Sierra Leone. Our leaders, wake up if you love your country. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please do share. I love you all. May God bless us all. Thank you. Bye bye.